Hi, so today what I'm going to do is show you how to create an assignment in Newzella and share it with your Google Classroom. So if I go down here and I want to see articles that look interesting, let's say uh, hmm, UN Biodiversity Report. So I click on this report and then this is the article that I want to assign to my students. So what I would do is I would say, okay, this is what I want to do, but I don't just want them to read the article, I also want to give them an activity. So I can choose to create a quiz, and they actually give quizzes right here, so I don't have to even think about it. I can just assign a quiz. Um, and there's also a writing comprehension. So there's a prompt. Describe what you think the author's purpose was for writing this text and whether they were successful in this purpose. I can also edit this, so if I want to change it a little bit, um, I can, and I can say whatever I want. Um, I can also cancel that. and. I need to assign this article. So when I assign the article, it is going to assign them this, these two options, the writing and the quiz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on assign the article. I'm going to select the class I want to assign it to. I'm going to assign it to my test class because I don't want my co-teachers getting annoyed at me. Um, please read this article and complete the writing assignment and share this as well. And then I can adjust the reading level if I want to. If I want them to all read on a specific level, I can, um, which means I would just click on that, click lock selection, and it, will do, and it will assign that level. Or I can leave it so that the kids can adjust it to whatever they feel is more comfortable for them for reading level. And then all I do is I click on assign and it assigns it to that class. Now, maybe I want to assign it to a class and I want to assign it, assign it through Google Classroom, not just through Newzella. What I would do is I would click on the share button here and then it asks me, how do I want to share it? Do I want to email them? Do I want to do remind? We use Google Classroom, so I'm going to click on Google Classroom. And then I just choose whichever one I want to share it with. And in this case, I'm going to share it with the library. And I'm going to create an assignment. And when I click on Go, um, Mozilla Protocol on Biodiversity. Please read this, complete the quiz, and the writing assignment. And as a former English teacher, I feel the need to put a space here. All right, and then this is going to library one, all my students. Um, I don't want to select certain ones. If you do want to select certain students, you can select the students here. How many points is this worth? The due date, um, choose December 3rd. Um, is there a time you want it in by a certain time? You can put that in. Same way you do with everything um, that you put in into your Google Classroom. And then all I would do is I could schedule it. If I don't want to sign it today, I want to sign it for tomorrow. I could schedule it um, to go out then. Or I could just schedule it to go out at a certain time today. And now it's been scheduled. And now I can view my assignment and I can see that sure enough, when I go into my library thing, I've posted a new assignment, reading news Ella assignment. And if I want to actually see what it looks like, this is the student work, I would click on instructions. And now it will take me right back to my teacher version on Newzella of this assignment. So I can see everything. So this is the articles I've assigned um, for my test class. And I'm all set. So that's all there is to it. Um, oh, it takes you back to the sign-in page. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And I'm here to help. Thanks so much.